Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about firming, tightening, snatching that body. And we are going to be mainly focusing on the neck area a little bit, the chest, the boobs and I guess the stomach as well after pregnancy um, needs a little bit of tightening um, and you want to snatch that up match that shit up. Okay, so the main products that we may need that I want to talk about is really sort of menopause type products, pre, post, during. But what I want to make really clear is that just because they are formulated specifically for that beautiful, exciting time in our life, not so much, right? Um, it doesn't mean you can't start using it beforehand. So basically as humans we start to age at the age of 25 and when you start to see the effects of age that's when you need to take action. So 25 to 30 I think it's more towards the 30 sort of time stamp. Um, I didn't do anything before the age of 30 and I don't blame you if you don't want to either but after that you're always about preserving what you have. You cannot stop the age process that is not what I'm saying but you can definitely slow it down and if you leave it too late it's like you're trying to undo or you're trying to slow down something which has already gotten to a certain level. So I always think just start early, the earlier the better, the less reconstructive surgery you'll need, the less plumping, injections, all of that you will end up needing. So I'm going to be focusing on two main products today and they are both delicious. Let me open this up. Oh my god, I love this stuff. So the first, I can't, there you go. The first is the Serum Matriciel. And then the second, the second is this baby right here. Doesn't that look like, like a Christmas gift or something? Like, here you go. It's a present for you. Um, it's huge. Um, so the Creme MSRH Curve, let me open it up. It's like, Oh my god, it's really difficult to open this thing. Um, so the Creme MSRH car, it's also a beautiful packaging. Who doesn't love a beautiful packaging? Look at that. It's also been newly reformulated, which is why I'm also really, really excited to talk about it. It is a beautiful, beautiful consistency. So let me show you. I just want to show you the product, but I actually really should be showing you and talking to you about what is in it and why it works and what happens when we age but you know let's just get into this stuff because it's the most exciting so it's oh my god it is so creamy luxurious beautiful feels so good oh yeah 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 oh i love it oh i love it Oh, it also smells really comforting. It's like got this sweet, it's got this sweet powdery, slightly sweet, not like intoxicatingly sweet, but slightly sweet. Oh, just, you just, you put a little bit on and then you just want to slather it absolutely everywhere. I love it. Okay, let's get into the actual science and tech and ingredients and why this works and how this works and what happens to our bodies. So, we start aging when we're about 20, but I'm going to say 30 because that's when you start seeing it. So really you should be looking at anti-aging products from the age of 30 onwards for your face and for your body. This is important guys. You're, there are certain parts of your body that get saggy and you gotta look after it. And mainly this area right here, especially if you love the sun, it gets like crepey. You know like that movie, what is it? It's all about Mary. Old movie, great movie, but she was like leather. She was really tan. She was smoking cigarettes the whole time. And I remember this scene with her chest and I was like, oh my God, 
Let it not be me. Um, so yeah, we want to avoid at all costs that sort of situation. Obviously, I don't think we're chain smoking tan that much of a tan loving type of person anymore, but still better, better start early. So when we age, the first thing that happens is that we have less collagen, less elastin and less oil coming to the surface of our skin. And that gets really quick. It like goes like a bulldozer when we go through the beautiful menopause. So, but up till menopause, it's still happening. It is still happening. Don't think it's not happening, it is happening. So the, we have collagenase and elastase. So basically all of our collagen and elastin is slowly getting destroyed day by day. And then also our skin gets drier because our sebum, we're not producing as much sebum as we were before. And also don't forget the sebum actually feeds the collagen and the elastin and there's nothing to feed it anymore right? It's like having an army of all of these anti-aging warriors. You got to feed them. They're not getting fed anymore. They can't make you look plump and tight and smooth. You got to feed these boys. And this is what these products are trying to do. They're trying to feed your anti-aging army. It's kind of how I see it in my head. I know I try and do all these like funny stories, but I got to tell myself these stories so that I remember how this works. So, sorry, not sorry. Um, and then the last thing that happens is because of the jump of estrogen and just, sorry, not the jump, the fall, the deep falling situation of the estrogen amount that we have in our bodies. And this is purely at the menopause time. This is not beforehand. We have a huge loss of also hyaluronic acid in our skin. And we all know what hyaluronic acid does for our skin. I mean, when we get injected and plumped up with filler, that is what they're injecting. They are injecting hyaluronic acid into our skin. That is what plumps up, fills up, smooths out, not Botox, totally different different situation. Botox, we do not have that in our skin. But filler, hyaluronic acid, we have it. We're just putting more of it. So that also sort of yeah, declines, um, but only at the menopause time. But the collagenase, the elastase, the drying skin, that is happening day by day. Ugh, I don't like talking about this stuff because it actually worries me a little bit, a lot. Um, so we are going to be talking about, firstly, the serum matissier. Wow, oh, don't kill anything. This stuff right here. So basically what the serum matriciel does is that it tones and tightens and firms and snatches the skin. So it's a toning serum for your body. It's the only serum we have within the Biologic Recherche range for the body. And I absolutely adore it because it, I'm going to put some on this arm, not that one. because I put so much product on this one now. I just, you know, yeah. So if you can see, It's, can you see it? I don't know. Oh, it feels so good. It's like a really, it does smell a little bit, but it's, it's not greasy at all. And I can already feel like it's pretty much in my skin. What does it smell like? It doesn't smell bad. It smells of something, but it doesn't smell bad. And it's gone. I cannot feel it at all, not one bit, it's gone. So the serum matriciel is basically what it does is that it is stopping the collagenase and elastase process. The collagenase process, collagenase process is the destruction of collagen and the elastase process is the destruction of elastin. Collagen plumps your skin, elastin smooths out, de-wrinkles the skin. So we don't want to lose those people. We don't want to lose those people. So it stops that process from actually happening. And as it stops it from happening, it basically is preventative, but it also tightens. 
snatches up that skin. And because it's such a thin and beautiful and pretty much non-existent in terms of texture, I love it on the neck, chest and breasts. Love it. I used to use this all the time, but I haven't used this for some time and I think they must have changed the formulation because it used to leave some sort of a some sort of a slip, but now it's like totally gone. So it's even even better. So in terms of the ingredients that are within it, we have the firming ingredients. Yes. Okay, so we have the glycoproteins, which are derived from microorganisms from Antarctica. This is why I'm reading this, because I do I am not going to be remembering all of these ingredients. Um, so this is the nourishing and anti-wrinkle and boost collagen boosting ingredients. Then we have the biomimetic peptide um, from hepatocyte growth factor. And these are basically peptides and pe peptides always boost collagen and elastin as well. So it's pretty much doing the same thing, but it's, it's a different ingredient. And then we have the complex based on elder blossom, chestnut wood and tropical almond leaf extract. So this is rich in flavonoids and tannic acids and polyphenols. And it, it does the same thing. It boosts the elasticity of the skin so it boosts the elastin and also improves microcirculation because that's super important as well and I'm going to get into that much more when we talk about the creme MSRH because that has a huge action on the communication and microcirculation. Um, so then we have Black crowberry juice, just like the Crown anti C. So black crowberry juice, again, it prohibits the elastase and collagenase process. We have rye extract in there, which is super firming, lifting and snatching. And then we have horsetail extract, again, activates the blood circulation. We have tetrapeptides. We have marine exopolysaccharides, again, tightening, tightening the network of the collagen and the elastin fibers. And then we have NMF, hyaluronic acid, both hydrating, and we have silk extract. Oh my God, I love silk extract because it's so full of peptides. It is so full. It is such a fantastic ingredient. I love it. Um, and then we have royal jelly. Again, a great ingredient. Royal jelly is super nourishing um, to the skin without you feeling it so much. And it is, it has a lot of vitamin Bs in there. So it's really balancing to the skin and re, re, mineral, re, little, re mineralizing for the skin. So that is the serum matricial. You can pretty much apply this as much as you want. It's, there is no sort of destructive effect. Um, and I would, I would sort of, if you're really wanting to tighten, I would recommend using it morning and evening until you finish the bottle, especially if you're wanting to tighten and snatch it all up for a special event. I would say do this, start this process maybe six to eight weeks prior to the event and it really works. Um, it's kind of like, I know when, I, um, when I'm on a holiday and I go for a swim and I tend to swim every day, I look like I have a boob job. I mean, for real, my boobs just look so firm and then don't move so much. And this is kind of the same effect of what, how I used to use it. This is the same effect of what it does. So I'm quite a, quite a big fan of this stuff, even though I did stop using it. So I'm gonna start again for show. For show. All right, so next we have the Creme MSRH car, which I showed you guys. Um, and this has a lot of really, really interesting ingredients in it. It's also just been reformulated. They, as you know, BR are going vegan. And they have, for some reason, they removed the yam. But yam is vegan. There was some controversy there was some controversy in the beauty industry about yam and the hormonal part of yam. And I don't know, we just dumped the yam and we took on the shiitake mushroom. I don't know what that's really about. I just remember when I, when I think of yams, I always think of, uh, of sex in the city. 
<laughs> and I think of Samantha, I think it was in the second movie when she goes to Dubai and she has, she forgets her hormone replacement therapy, her HRT, and she is just like downing all of these yams because she thinks that she could replace the hormone replacement that they, she didn't forget them, they blocked it at the border, I think. I don't remember. And she was just eating all these yams because she was trying to replenish her hormones because she did not want to go through menopause. So I always think about that when, um, when I think about these MSRH products because we have the creme MSRH for the body and then we also have the one for the face. This one is particularly focusing on not so much tightening but more replenishing the skin so it's it's it, when we when you go through menopause you have a drier skin because your sebum secretions lessen and then also the sebum secretions which are feeding your collagen and your elastin uh it's not there anymore so basically the whole point of all of this of all of this is to feed that army and this is an impressive cream and it also feels amazing and it smells is i love it it's a good cream so we have the complex of hyaluronic acid and rhizobium so br use this a lot within their formulations um within the micellar water and i think some of the vip products i'm not quite sure but i love this complex because it makes so much sense to me hyaluronic acid you are basically pulling in hydration from your air, from the air, not your air, and the more humid it is, the more you're gonna pull in. And the rhizobium acts like a reservoir, so it keeps the water, the hydration in your skin. So it's kind of got that double action, and I love it, I love it. So you've got that, you've got shea butter, and you've got, and you've got, you've got, now, you've got shea butter and you've got raspberry seed oil. So the shea butter, we all know shea butter. It's super, super, super duper nourishing. It is so nourishing. It is so velvety. It is so comforting. Everybody likes shea butter unless you have an oily tendency to your skin. If you have it oily on your back, shoulders, this area, don't put shea butter. It is comedogenic. You don't want to be doing that. But if you don't have that, you usually love it. Um, so it's basically lots of vitamins, very nourishing. And then you have raspberry seed oil. So raspberry seed oil is almost, in terms of a nourishing ingredient, it's the opposite of shea butter. So it's not comedogenic at all. It's really thin. It penetrates the skin really nicely. It doesn't, ha doesn't leave much over the top of the skin. And it's also got a lot of powerful antioxidants in there. So it's, it is a superior ingredient to shea butter. I gotta say it. Um, and it's also got omegas and vitamin E. Well, that's the antioxidants. And then what it also does is that it reinforces the dermal, epidermal junction. So in my last video, we spoke about how <clears throat> you want the hypodermis to be talking to the dermis. And in this case, we want the dermis to be talking to the epidermis because all of the collagen, all of the elastin and all of that anti-aging goodies are all in the dermis and you want it to be talking to the epidermis much better so that we can see a nice, smoother, plumper, tight skin, lift it. Um, and then in terms of tightening and rebalancing platform, we have the complex based on elderflower, chestnut wood and myrobalan leaf extract. So this improves the skin elasticity. It's really rich in polyphenols and flavonoids. Then you have the Sahel Desert Microalgae. I hope I'm saying this right. Um, and this is really good for hydrating and stimulating cellular energy and oxygenating the skin and also detoxification because that also then improves the sagging situation. Um, and then lastly, which is what is the key ingredient within here is the monk's pepper berry extract. And what this does is that it stimulates the DHEA activity, which is the estrogen um, we lose the estrogen. So it, it 
maximizes, magnifies the estrogen activity within the skin so that you get more of that hyaluronic acid naturally produced and the communications improve between the epidermis and the dermis and you have the collagen and the elastin working for you. That's what you want. And also the shea butter and the raspberry seed oil are also feeding, remember, they're feeding your warriors, your anti-aging warriors, so that they can also deliver the collagen and the elastin. You need to feed them because they're nourishing. And then you have the antioxidant platform, which is seed, buckthorn, berry, and seed oil extract. So this is just antioxidants. Again, for anything which is anti-aging, you always want as many antioxidants as possible because that is going to help everybody. It's going to strengthen the immunity of your skin. It's going to boost, boost everything. And that is what we're looking for. So that is it for the tightening, snatching, lifting situation. So I would really recommend using these literally morning and evening. There is nothing smelly, nothing uncomfortable, nothing um, dangerous about using these. There are no acids in these products. I know that I always say um, that you would need to exfoliate the skin really well prior to any application because it does improve the absorption penetration of the ingredients you apply later but I uh, you can use the lotion p50 cough but I think it's a lot for these areas you gotta look after these areas you know that they're, they're sensitive you know um, so you can either put the lotion p50 V on there if you want to or just once a week or twice a week because the skin is thinner especially on your chest and your boobies um, you can literally just use a physical scrub really lightly you don't usually get much of a build up in this area of the body if you want to do it on your stomach because the serum matricielle is actually really good for the stomach as well after pregnancy the stomach can get a little bit dry so you can put the lotion p50 V or car on your stomach um, but I would just recommend here once a week if you want to do a physical scrub go ahead um, but otherwise you're you're okay I don't I don't really recommend to be exfoliating these sensitive areas very often and go for it they're great and they're comfortable and get snatched all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it if you liked it please click the thumbs up please subscribe if you want to find out when my next video is and keep doing your skincare it makes you happy enjoy the sunshine enjoy the humidity in the air enjoy the oh enjoy the summer um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.